For the third declension, I'm going to have to look at two different editions of Ruddy Man because uh, there's a page missing in the edition that I'm using. So here we go, third declension. How is the third declension known? By the genitive singular in is and the dative in e. How many final letters has it got? And now we're going to switch to the other text. So we'll pause here and move on to the other older text. Quot habet literas finales? How many final letters hath it? In other words, how many final letters has it got? Un de kim? Eleven. A, e, o, k, de, le, ne, re, se, te, x. Ut? Un de kim? A, e, o, k, de, l, n, r, s, t, x. Ut? Diadema, a crown. Sedile, a seat. Sermo, a speech. Lac, milk. David, a man's name. Animal, a living creature. Pecten, a comb. Pater, a father. Rupes, a rock. Caput, a head or the head. And Rex, a king. Here we have the example of Sermo, a speech. Nominativo, sermo. Genitivo, sermonis. Dativo, sermoni. Accusativo, sermone. Vocativo, sermo. Ablativo, sermone. Now notice this line on the sermo isn't a long vowel. It's telling us that we don't say sermo, but sermo, and the first syllable is what we call heavy, as opposed to being long. Heavy meaning it's got a consonant at the end. It's a closed syllable. Ser, mo. And so we put a um, line over that E showing its syllable length. So the lines are doing two things. They're telling us about vowel length and syllable length. And for a beginner, this is very confusing. Um, so it's just pay attention to the sound of what I'm saying. Ser, mo, nominativo, genitivo, ser, mo, nis. Dativo sermoni, accusativo sermonem, vocativo sermo, ablativo sermone. Pluraliter in the plural. Nominativo sermones, genitivo sermonum, dativo sermonibus, accusativo sermones, vocativo sermones, ablativo sermonibus. Sedile. A seat. Sedile. This is of neuter gender. So singular. Nominativo. Sedile. Genitivo. Sedilis. Dativo. Sedili. Accusativo. Sedile. Vocativo. Sedile. Ablativo. Sedili. Pluraliter. Nominativo. Sedilia. Genitivo. Sedilion. Dativo. Sedilibus. Accusativo sedilia, vocativo sedilia, ablativo sedilibus. As with sermo, so most substantives of this declension in a, o, k, d, n, t, x, r, or, ur, as, os, and us, except the accusative and vocative, when they are neuters, or when they lack, that is, want, the plural number, also when they have more syllables in their genitive than nominative, all words in s and most of those in is. Of the final letters of the third declension, six are peculiar to it. A and k and d and l and t and x only occur with words of the third declension. The other five are common to other declensions and you can find examples in a in the first and also here in the third, e, n, r, and s, also shared with other declensions. The copious final letters are a, n, r, s, and x. The copious final syllables are io, do, go, n, r, or, as, s, is, os, us, ns, rs, and x. All nouns in a of this declension are originally Greek and always have an M 
before it. There are only two words in the letter C, luck, meaning milk, and halek, a herring. Words in D are proper names of men and are very rare. There are only three words letting, ending in T in this declension. Kaput, the head. Sinkiput, the forehead. And Okiput, the back of the head. All of them variations on kaput, meaning head. So here we have the rules for the gender of the third declension. The third has males in er, or, os, en, o. Most nouns are feminine in do and go. Verbals in io, hike, likewise procure. Hike, as, aus, es. Is, x and s. Impure. Rule for the neuter. Nouns in C-A-L, E-T, are men, er, us, may to the neuter kind be placed by us. The terminations er, or, os, and o, and on, n are masculine. The terminations io, do, go, as, s, is, us, aus, x, and s after consonant are feminine. And the terminations a, que, e, el, men, ar, ur, us, and ut are neuter. But from these there are many exceptions. Note 1. That for the most part the genitive has a syllable more than the nominative. And where it is otherwise they generally end in e, s, or is. Note 2. That whatever letter or syllable comes before is in the genitive must run through the other cases, except for the accusative and the vocative singular, of neuters, as in tema, tematis, temati, temate, a theme, sanguis, sanguinis, blood, iter, itineris, a journey, carmen, carminis, a verse, judex, judicis, a judge. Regulae, rules, nomina in e, Et neutra in al et ar. Habent i in ablativo. Quae habent e tantum in ablativo. Faciunt genitivum pluralem in um. Quae habent i tantum. Well, e et i simul faciunt ium. Ne utra quae habent e in ablativo singularita in ablativo singulari habent a in nominativo accusativo et vocativo plurali. Quae habent i in ablativo faciunt ia.